A lot of people really hate the Nomus because they're just kind of like mindless villains, but I enjoy them. I'm gonna put them at a B. Yep. <laughs> Gosh, that disrespects all the characters down below. Wait. Welcome to the channel. It's your boy the Hot Rodster here, and today I'm going to be doing a My Hero Academia tier list. You know how tier lists work. We're just gonna rank all the characters, and you're gonna get to know my preferences a little bit better. So without further ado, let's get into the tier list. First we have All For One. All For One didn't really do much. You know, he did get Shigaraki and everything and train him, but he's not really that important. So I'm gonna probably have to put him at like a C or maybe a B, because the fight with All Might was actually really cool. And I feel like he's definitely gonna be used later for stuff. So that's where I'm putting All Might. He's getting put on an S and it's simply because All Might was obviously meant to be the Superman of my hero. Superman is actually my favorite superhero. He's definitely Definitely like top three blue genist i honestly don't know where to put this character i mean his quirk is low-key underwhelming I, I don't know i'll put him i'll put him at a d he's not really doing much for me right now this is like bubble girl right honestly we don't really know much about her all we have is her character design i know that she has like a bubble kind of quirk but she just didn't offer much to the story oh this girl i can't remember her name but i know she had like the glamour quirk we haven't really seen her much outside of that one mini arc because she wasn't at the provisional license exam because that was actually himiko i think that's her name i'm gonna have to probably put her at a this dude he's okay i don't remember him but i remember his quirk more than him he can manipulate rocks i'm pretty sure he tried to stop deku's fight with shoto but we don't really know much about him he's not like a relevant character or anything so he's probably gonna go at d this guy okay so i can't remember his name that's on me but i think he is actually a really cool character just his character design looks really cool with like the burns on his body and everything and like the stitches it gives him like a creepy look but he also just looks really cool he's just all around a pretty cool character just her design and powers rise but like we haven't really gotten much development from him even during the villain arc he was the only villain who like we really didn't get any additional details on so like i'm probably gonna put him in a c Kaminari. I don't like his abilities at all whatsoever. Only because I just hate the idea of being really stupid after using your abilities at full power. That just seems like such a negative consequence of using your powers. Character and personality wise and just overall contribution to the story, it's like nothing really significant. So I might have to put him at an E. Oh, this guy. We only really saw him in the rescue arc, the Bakugo rescue arc. He can make himself flat. I'm pretty sure like a flat piece of paper. He doesn't contribute much to the story, but like he was only really there for one arc or one arc that I can remember. He was, that was the only arc he was kind of relevant, but I actually really like him. So I might put him at a C. The Red Riot. I'm actually probably gonna put him at A because I really liked his little arc during the Shi Hasekai arc, you know, the overhaul parts. We just got so much development with him and I honestly feel really close with this character at this point, closer than like a lot of the other 1A characters. And Endeavor, he might also have to go at A or a or S. It's, it's either or. We got to see a little bit of his redemption in the Endeavor Agency arc, but it's definitely not over. He's definitely got more redemption to come. I can't wait to see just like what more he's going to contribute to the story. Airy. Airy, Airy, Airy. I'm going to put her at a C. Right now in the show, she hasn't really done much other than like being rescued i guess like there are been arcs surrounded around her and she does have a pretty cool quirk i definitely think she, she's gonna be like an important character in the future that maybe we're gonna see her grow up and be like a really cool person but right now she's just kind of eh, you know fat gum i'm probably gonna put him at e because i do like his character i do like his quirk but like we haven't really gotten much surrounding him he's not like that important right now well, fumi kage i might put him at a b just because i liked in the recent season where we got to kind of see him embrace his powers a bit more and we got to see like his training with hawks and just how strong he's gotten after all of that i just feel a bit more invested in his character shoto's sister nah i'll put her already like i said with a lot of these characters just not really that important to the story right now and she's not supposed to be she's just like a background character but i'm not gonna put like a background character up higher with a lot of these characters oh this is the killer whale hero i might put him at a yeah a suits him he's not in this show a lot but he is kind of like reoccurring especially at ua events i think he has a pretty cool quirk and i hope that they explore his character more i'm pretty sure there are characters below him on this tier list that have probably been more explored than him but like i don't know there's just something about this character that i really did like this guy oh gentle criminal that's his name i'll put him at a c only because i did like 
gentle criminal. I thought that he had like a really sad backstory. Actually, I'll put him in a B. I don't think he was really a necessary character. I hope he does return in the future, but like, I don't know if he will return in any kind of capacity. Gran Torino, I'm also gonna put him at a B. He has a pretty cool quirk. He helped Izugu Midoriya train one for all. Enough said. This guy, the tape dude, honestly, he kind of does remind me of Spider-Man a bit, but yeah, like other than that, like I can't really think of a reason why I should put him higher. Hawks, Hawks, Hawks. I am putting this dude all the way at the top. First off, I mean, he has wings and that's just really cool. I mean, he kind of reminds me of like Angel from X-Men. And like, I think he has just a, a really chill personality and he's just like a really fun character to see on screen. Right now, he's probably one of my favorite characters. Like I just get excited when I see him. Himoko. She's probably at a B or an A. I'll put her in B. She's like one of the most reoccurring villains. Somehow she has escaped death so far and she's just really interesting. And especially with the new arc explored her background because of her quirk, she just is really fascinated with blood. And like, that's not like because she did anything wrong. That's just the way she is because quirks affect personality. Yeah, I just really like the idea of her being like a character who couldn't really fit into this hero society just because of the nature of her quirk. Sincho, I'll also put him at a B. The only arcs he's really participated in are arcs that just really don't matter to the story. I mean, not like they don't matter, but they don't really have anything to do with the villains and like the general overarching plot of my hero. I don't really know that much about him right now and I can't say that he's my favorite but in those arcs what we've seen from him it's been pretty spectacular and yeah this vines girl I might also put her at a B too yeah I just I think that she has really interesting abilities with her vines and stuff actually you know I might put her down at C yeah I think C might be where she belongs this dude honestly this dude hasn't really appeared in the story that much I mean he's not like a terrible person he's just kind of eh you know Izuku's mother she's pretty cool in this story she's used to bring us back to Midoriya's real world she was really not gonna let Deku go back to school at UA anymore because she really just didn't want her son get hurt and like puts everything back in perspective world. and I like that about her I can't remember what this girl's name is but I do like her quirk with her big hands it doesn't seem like a useful thing but she's very creative with how she uses her quirk and she's kind of like the de facto leader of class one be like everybody looks up to her and respects her and we have Deku honestly I put Deku at an A Deku's definitely not perfect but I mean I think that he's a decent protagonist there's a lot of things I personally don't like about him I've talked about a lot in my reviews but I'm still watching my hero I'm still watching his story and I still can't wait to see where it's gonna go well, this guy I can't remember what his name is but I know his quirk is Arbor I am going to put him at C as well only because like he hasn't done much for the story, but like his quirk is awesome. Bakugo, he is the explosion person. I say I put him in an S because he also has like some amazing character development where he kind of starts realizing that yeah there are people who are just better than him and that he really needs to learn to like work with other people and he's actually improving himself in ways that we thought he never would. I think he's actually a pretty cool hero. This guy, don't remember his name but he can talk to animals. He's not really been in the story at all whatsoever and I also, I'm not gonna lie, I never really liked his character design. He doesn't talk a lot or he doesn't like talking. That just really puts him in the background, you know? Honestly, like I noticed invisible girl more than I noticed this guy. This guy, yeah, he can also get an F. He wasn't that appealing of a character to me in the training camp arc. Warp gate. Where am I gonna put warp gate? The warp gate dude. Honestly, I mean, this character really doesn't have much going for him other than the fact that he used to be Aizawa's friend, but before he was just kind of like a tool of Tomura Shigaraki, and so he probably would have been way further down there. This quirk is pretty cool though, but you know, I've never been able to pronounce this girl's name right, and I'm not gonna try now. But she uses the earphone jack quirk. She's pretty cool. I'll put her to see. Who is this girl? She's the love girl, La Brava, there we go. I'll put her like one below Gentle Criminal, just because compared to Gentle Criminal, she just didn't really have as compelling of a backstory to me. This guy, wow, he died a long time ago. He's the magnet guy. Honestly, I mean, we never really saw much of him in this character other than him using his quirk. And he has a really cool quirk, by the way, the magnet quirk. I thought it was really cool. I thought it was a nice concept, but there's nothing more to see from him because he has been killed. So this girl, I honestly, I don't know which cat girl this one is. Honestly, both of the cat girls were kind of like mad to me. They were so similar that I couldn't really differentiate from their personalities. The tail man himself. I mean, he hasn't really done much in this story. Like, he's not that important of a character. 
I'll put it at a C. Oh, this girl. I can't remember her name. She only really was important for like one arc, maybe. I really hope that the show gives her more attention in the future. Oh man, this guy. He has a nice quirk. Not completely relevant to the story though, right now. So he gets a C. Midnight, based on design and her quirk, I put her at a B. What is her name, Mina? A, honestly, her quirk is like terrifying. I, I don't know if we've seen her use her quirk against other people before, but like, I think she could actually melt people if she wanted to. I think that's crazy. And I think that she has to show a lot of restraint in order not to do that. Also, she's just a really good break dancer. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. She's really cool to me. Mineta, he provides a lot of comic relief into my hero. I like some of the pervy jokes that he brings to the show, but then I also, but sometimes I don't like them. Like sometimes I feel like it's too far. His whole character is kind of like hit or miss. I might just put him at a D. This guy, he is definitely going at S, Mirio or uh, Le Million. He carried the whole overhaul arc. With him, we really got to see what a hero should be. This rabbit girl, a lot of people really like her, but she hasn't really done much yet. Maybe she does something in the future, but right now she hasn't done like a lot. I'm only gonna put her in C, and the only reason why she's going this high is because her character design is just awesome. This is Bakugo's mom. I will put her here. As moms go, she was pretty cool. Momo, I'm gonna put her at A. I really want to put her at S, but she hasn't done much. We've seen her really cool big moments, but most of those have been like tournaments and tests. We haven't really seen her going up against the villains. Even during the whole like Bakugo rescue thing, she was there, but she didn't do anything to my knowledge. But I really like her. I think that she has like an amazing quirk. And in those specific tournament arcs and tests where she proved herself, I thought that she was just really cool. But I just, I really hope that she gets used a bit more. Oh, this is the compressed dude. Whatever happened to this guy? Did he die? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna put him here. We really don't know much about this character. I'm gonna put her at a D. She has a quirk that makes people laugh or something or she can tell jokes. Mount Lady. I'm gonna put her at a B. And the reason why I'm putting her here is because I've kind of noticed some subtle character development coming from her. At the very beginning, it was really clear that she was all about money, but now she actually really does seem to care about the hero work. Like she actually seems to care about helping people and saving people. Oh, this is the muscular dude. I mean, he was only really relevant for like one arc. I'm gonna put him at a D. All Might teacher. I'll put her at C. I mean, we haven't really seen much from her yet, and I mean, we're probably not gonna see more from her because she's like dead. I honestly don't remember who this guy was. He like the police officer? I I, I don't remember. I'm putting him in an F. Oh, the copy dude. He's annoying, but in like a fun way. He brings a lot of humor to the series. I'm gonna put him at a C. This girl, I don't remember her name. I don't think she had like any big character moments. Kind of sucks because she's part of the UA Big Three. I'm gonna put her at a at D, only because we haven't really seen her do much. Nomus, a lot of people really hate the Nomus because they're just kind of like mindless villains, but I enjoy them. I'm gonna put them at a B. Yep. <laughs> Gosh, that disrespects all the characters down below. Well, you know what? It's fine. Ochako, she's pretty cool. I'll put her at a B. Overhaul, Overhaul had a nice quirk and like a decent ish backstory. I'll put them in a C though. Put them in a C. Like I said, with all these cat girls, I don't really know which one was which. This dude. I can't remember his name, but he had the quirk voice. He was cool. I'll put him B. The one thing I remember most about him is that his quirk activated when he was still a baby. He was like, he cried really loud or something like that. I thought that was really funny. Again, I don't really remember her as much. She was just kind of there. Recovery Girl is a pretty cool character. She helps all the people recover. You know, I mean, she's pretty important. We put her at B. Sugar Man. I'm putting him at an E, only because I don't like his quirk that much, if I'm really being honest. She's the person with the dragon quirk. I'm gonna put her at a D. I mean, I think her quirk is cool, but like, we haven't seen much from her. Ah, oh, the dude with the meatball quirk. Yeah, no, ah, uh, yeah, that stuff freaked me out. Aizawa. Aizawa is honestly top tier. Aizawa is like a really cool teacher, mentor. And you can tell that he actually does care about the kids that he's teaching. Shota. Yeah, Shoto's also ass, honestly. Shoto is really cool. He has two quirks. I mean, enough said. Enough said. Night Eye was always boring for me. I mean, I know a lot of people like Night Eye, but he was always boring. Sorry. This Stain wannabe, he can go in C. Real Stain, he can go in A. Sun Eater was honestly up there. He's one of the UA big three. Sun Eater, he had like this really cool moment where he took on these three villains who had amazing teamwork and 
should have beaten him. He had enough determination to actually overcome and defeat all of them. And they, his fight was really cool. And this is the girl who can fold into herself. I don't know. I mean, we don't really know much about her, but her, her quirk is cool, I guess. Tenya Ida. He is literally like the ultimate moral compass of this show. I think he gets an A. Yeah, he gets an A. This dude who's basically the same as Kirishima. I mean, there are some differences with his quirk abilities, but like, nah, I'm putting him in C. He was, he's cool though, he's cool. This dude, I'm gonna put him in an F. I mean, I don't really like him that much. Tomura Shigaraki. I never really liked Tomura that much until like the newest arc because we got more just insight as to like who his character is and like why he does the things he does. I like his character, although like, I still I'm kind of getting over the hate I had for this character. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna put him at an A right now. Invisible Girl just hasn't really done much in the show, honestly. Of everybody in class 1A, she's like done nothing. Froppy. Easily at least B tier. Oh, this dude. Honestly, this guy gets an S. I like this guy from the very beginning. I didn't know that he would have a whole character arc, but I just thought that he was like a good representation of how Hero Society has like kind of sucked because his own powers almost killed him. This guy, the teacher of 1A, I mean, he hasn't really done much. He has like that cool blood quirk. This guy also hasn't done much. He has like a cool scale quirk. This guy, he's had some pretty cool moments. He has that whole thing where he was really creepy to Midoriya, but you know, he did bond with Midoriya, I guess. I'll put him at a C for now. Well, that's the tier list. Whew, that took a while to make. That took way longer than I thought. I definitely have to cut some of this out. Oh, but that, that's my tier list of the My Hero Academia characters. There's probably some that's been left out. There's actually probably a lot that's been left out. I don't see a lot of season five characters on here. Let me know what you thought of my picks in the comment section down below. And if you liked this type of video, be sure to leave a like and to subscribe to see more of these videos in the future. And I will see you in the next life. Peace out.